Uh, the intention is to stay until they uh, end the carbon tax. So I packed for three weeks. Horn honks, Canadian flags, and frustration at the federal government. That's what's fueling a protest west of Calgary on the Trans-Canada Highway as it enters its second day. Anywhere from 100 to 150 people are here mad about the federal carbon tax increasing on April 1st. Met by almost as many RCMP members, including the tactical support team, keeping an eye on protesters. Like We have no idea yet how hard it's going to be, but just talking to the people that have showed up in the last couple of days, people that have messaged on Facebook, you know, they're worried about losing their farms, they're worried about losing their ranches, they're worried about how they're going to feed their kids. There's people saying, I can't even afford the gas to take me to work. There are a couple of campers scattered throughout the area with people saying they intend to stay here as long as they can. It's been described to me as a family reunion where it's actually acceptable to talk politics. People are seeing friends they met at other protests or friends that they've met online. Support from people driving by was constant throughout the day. Around a third of the semi-trucks driving by honked in support. While traffic was redirected briefly on Monday due to people on the road, traffic wasn't significantly impacted Tuesday. Alberta Premier Danielle Smith issuing a reminder the blocking traffic isn't allowed. I'm just asking people to accept that we have a, a critical infrastructure act in place and I, I wouldn't, I don't endorse it when uh, left-wing activists want to block bridges and roads, and I, I don't endorse it when, uh, when people who are opposing carbon taxes also want to block bridges and roads. RCMP saying the protest so far has been peaceful with no tickets issued. Our approach right now is to, to identify if there is an issue, whether it's someone driving slow uh, or dangerously, and, and to provide warning and education first, and then the next step, of course, would be enforcement. He also said that some officers have been removing their name tags from their uniforms as photos and videos of the officers involved have been circulating online. And officers have the ability to remove their name tag at their discretion. And there is rain and snow expected in the forecast for the rest of the week, so only time will tell just how committed these protesters are and if this protest will last. From west of Calgary, Julian Code, City News.